It's April 7th. And we've been in quarantine now for, what did I just say, 27 days? 25 days? Um, so I figured I'd start vlogging my days. Jeff and I have started um, Marvel, the Marvel uh, series, watching them all in chronological order. I got the idea from Port to Palm to do this. So we've now watched Captain Marvel, who was second? Captain Marvel, Cap, then... No, it was uh, Captain America, and then Captain Marvel. Oh yeah, Captain America, then Captain Marvel, then Iron Man, both Iron Mans, and now we're on to Thor. And I was just given this teddy. Um, so, now we're watching through Thor. We're also burning beer bread in the kitchen. Burning? Baking? Baking beer bread in the kitchen. <laughs> Jeff is going to make us some beer bread grilled cheese. I am so lucky that I am quarantined with such a creative chef because I would just be eating quesadillas the whole quarantine if it were up to me. Um, so, Chef Jeff. Thanks. Thank goodness for Chef Jeff. And thank goodness that I'm married to him and not married to someone else because that poor person would be suffering. <laughs> with my lack of meals my friend kate was saying she knows how to make five things and so they've made those five things over and over and over again and she's losing her mind so i don't know how interesting this will be but figured i'd i'd vlog it and see how it goes and see uh see what my life's like yeah all right show me your loaf that looks like a good loaf. So it's, what's in it? So it's just beer bread? It's beer bread. What's beer bread? Beer bread is bread, but you make it with beer. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to put yeast in it because the beer acts as a rising. Oh, temperature. it's not yeasty. Love I mean, it. It is. It's just beer yeasty. Beer yeasty. Hmm. <laughs> Piper, you want to try it too? <laughs> That's Pretty really good. good. So, all the alcohol gets burned off. That's gonna be really good. It's grilled cheese. Highly recommend. Oh, God. Huh? What's that? It's pretty fluffy. It is really fluffy. I'm really impressed. <laughs> what is it, baby? Oh my gosh. It's gonna be so good. I am so excited. Good morning, cool cats and kittens. Um, ah, I spilled my coffee everywhere. Never mind, I did. Ugh. Look at the hole in my ceiling. Um, it is April 8th, question mark, 26 days in stay at home. Um, I'm just gonna heat up my coffee really quick. Um, how's everybody doing? How's, uh, how's everybody's Wednesday going? Um, it is a little bit of a dreary, Wednesday here. Piper wants to play with the peanut butter jar that I let her have. Um, <laughs> I don't know if other people have been experiencing this. So this week, um, this the week of the fifth, I guess the week of the sixth, um, the government and others asked us, uh, the world basically, to not leave the house if at all humanly possible this week. Um, so that means like, even like for groceries and stuff, they were like, don't, like if you can avoid it, don't go to the grocery store. Don't like, you know, unless it's like really essential, don't leave, don't leave your house. So we're trying to abide by that. But of course we are kind of like on our last leg as far as groceries. So the night before last and the night before that, I attempted to order groceries 
um, online and usually we use um, Prime now so we can order from Whole Foods uh, but and if you wait until midnight that's when all of the time slots reset so I was in it didn't work out the first night that I tried it and I was like you know what maybe I woke up too late I'll try it again the next night so the night before last I woke up and I was in a virtual fight for slots <laughs> and um it just, it just kept getting booted and it kept saying there's like an abnormal amount of traffic um at midnight there was an abnormal amount of traffic so obviously everybody's trying to order groceries online so i ended up being able to order something from instacart but i don't think it's going to arrive until sunday um and it's wednesday so we could we can probably squeak by until Sunday, but it's going to be a challenge. Um, but <laughs> just like anything else, um, our, so we have, so if you don't know, we live in a fixer upper. It's a, um, house that was built in 1890. It's a two family. Um, we bought it about two years ago and we're eventually going to like condoize it and everything. But so the upstairs unit, we have almost fully renovated like renovated it enough that we're using it as an Airbnb. But our unit, because we live here, we haven't renovated it yet, really. Just like, you know, small things. So we like the nursery slash, slash office, we painted that. We uh, That room is actually almost done, which is so nice to have like one room that's kind of done. Um, but our bathroom is probably the big, biggest issue. So um, in old bathrooms, there's like some piping that is like whatever. And um, we've had trouble with the with the bathtub in there before, but usually it's fine. Like if you do Drano like a couple times uh, a week, <laughs> then it's fine. Um, and that was something that kind of like slipped our mind with this going on. So our tub hasn't drained in two days and uh you know we need a shower and of course i was on like day like week two of not washing my hair and i was like i really need to wash my hair so i just washed it in the sink and we gave ourselves sponge baths <laughs> but now we have to figure out how to get drain out and so the drain out is not going to arrive here until sunday oh everything seems to be arriving on sunday i don't know why Every apparently everything gets delivered on sundays and uh i hopefully it'll drain like if we leave it all day and all night and nobody showers but I don't know we'll see so just another <laughs> another fun thing about quarantine um so yeah so today after that I am now going to um do some training today's gonna be kind of a content creation day so um I'm gonna be editing the Fancy Town Crimes podcast, probably editing the Win podcast. We had um we recorded three episodes. Hey, you just dropped it in my foot. It's in my foot. It's in my foot. Um we recorded two episodes, just me and Beth, and then we had a guest yesterday. Uh so we recorded that. So I need to edit that. I need to do some blog stuff. Um and then I'll probably record until Friday, and then I'll start Saturday as a new blog week, or maybe vlog week, or maybe Sunday. I don't know. I need to decide how I want to do that. Like, what day to what day do I want to do it? Um, since this is week me for me week one of vlogging. Um, totally stealing this from Colleen Ballinger because uh, I thought it was a really great idea. Because. <laughs> We can all relate with the fact that we're all stuck here so um yeah so i'm gonna go do some of that content creation um and then i don't know what we're gonna do for lunch jeff has been super creative thank goodness for his creativity that beer bread last night was like so 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 good um but yeah so i'm already hungry it's only like nine o'clock Oh well. Out for a walk with the fam. Fam fam. Just a short one. Because I'm still not feeling better. So it's beautiful out though. It's nice to get some fresh air. Finally. Oh. And Piper, you liking it? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. 
or was startled by my <laughs> my morning introduction. It's April 9th, I think. Yeah, that seems right. I am getting a late start today. I ended up really not feeling good for the rest of the night last night and still kind of feeling a little funny. Oh, good stretch. Good stretch. Wow. Oh, got a face. Oh, hello. Um, I, it's, it's really, it's like a headache. Um, mostly just a headache. Uh, yeah, mostly just a headache, and I, since I had had the opportunity, I decided to sleep in a little bit, um, which was really nice. So now I'm just having my coffee and my breakfast. Piper is searching for a toy or something over there. Um, I need to edit, I said yesterday I had to edit the Fancy Time, uh, Dan Fancy Town Crime podcast, but I realized we didn't record one. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Um, but I do have to edit the, uh, win podcast today, this morning. I'm going to do that right straight away so I can get it done so we can drop that today. It's Thursday and we try to do it on Thursdays. Um, we had a really amazing, I think I mentioned this, um, uh, interior slash architect, um, designer on Taryn. Um, so I'm going to drop that today, the 9th. Um, this will be up well after that, but you should go listen. So today I'm going to edit that podcast. Um, and I'm thinking that part of this headache might be, I think just like lack of going outside in general, um, is not helping the situation. What are you doing? <laughs> so it's like the headache. <laughs> The headache is causing like my neck to hurt but I don't know if it's like which one is causing what if it's the neck to the head the head to the neck it's probably both at this point so I think it might be better to not sit at my desk all day if I can avoid it goof so I think that what I might do is do some reno work um we just using what we have at the house we I was going to redo our dining room is going to be skim coat yeah. and paint but uh it we can't go to the store it was recommended that we you know don't leave the house the next two weeks so we're not leaving the house so i'm just gonna i have some paint excess excess paint in the basement so i'm gonna do a smaller project let me show you so Right here, behind our, um, behind our kitchen sink, uh, just something I've been wanting to do, to just, like, take care of something for, like, a hot second, um, paint the trim white, uh, this trim, oh, right here, and then paint the surrounding portion kind of like a, gr uh, gray, which we have in our entryway, um, so it's gonna make a really subtle difference, but I think it's gonna make this space look totally different. Um, and then I'll tackle the dining area um, at a later date, and then we'll tackle the rest of the house at another point. All right, so I am going to make myself look like a human um, so that I can feel a little bit more human-like, because I'm not feeling very human-like at the moment. So let's see cream first of all to make sure that I look like a person so first aid beauty I love this cream it's for me personally it's it's expensive so I try and um do this weird thing that I'm doing right now um Jonathan Venice from uh Queer Eye, he had recommended this I think in one of the episodes or one of like the bonus, like the bonus clips where, so you don't waste like an expensive product, whether that be like skincare or whatever, um, that you like dab it on and instead of like, cause a lot of you like rub it in your hands and then you lose a ton of the product. 
So do that. And then what I've really been liking during this time, that's cold up on my face, um, is this, this Neutrogena, um, uh, it's a tinted moisturizer. So it's kind of like, I used to use a BB cream back in college, I think. And I was like, you know, I would love something like that. Um, especially now as though we're coming into the warmer months, not that we're outside, um, but usually, so usually when I'm like actually getting ready, I use this CC cream by It Cosmetics, which I really like. It has um, SPF 50, so I use that all year round. But this I've been using, it has an SPF 30. Um, and I just really like it because I don't need to like, it feels more like a moisturizer that I can just like pop onto my face and I don't need to use a like a brush or anything and these beauty gurus are like no you should still use a brush so using the, the tools that I was born with my hands and my fingers and the thing that I love love about this um I'm probably so dark because this bathroom is ridiculously dark um, I told you to love our beautiful popcorn ceiling. Um, it actually, some people probably won't like this, but I love it. It kind of smells like a little bit, like a hint of like sunscreen, but like, like, is it banana boat that has like the really good smelling sunscreen? Just like reminds me of summer. Uh, so I actually love, love that. And it makes me feel like I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna like enjoy the day, even though I'm not. Um, but anyway, I really like that. And it's it's pretty like sheer coverage, but it at least gets rid of like some of the redness, which is that's all I can ask for. Uh, and then just a this CoverGirl um, True Blend Undercover uh, Concealer. I, what was I using for a long time? I really liked it. It was like, I think it was a different, I think it was actually, was it a Neutrogena or CoverGirl? I don't remember. Um, and I really liked it, but they discontinued it. So then this was the best that I could find. It dries really, really fast, which I don't love. Um, so right now, like normally this, I would do a lot more um concealing and uh coverage but no one's gonna see me so i just try and like brighten up under my eyes and like prime my lids a little bit so that they look less veiny um sometimes i'll do a little bit of powder but most of the time i since the quarantine i'll just kind of just get myself to look you know like a normal human and that's pretty much it sometimes i'll like my skin actually has been looking okay uh so i'm not even gonna bother coming covering up anything else the most important thing for me is brows so they make me look like more alive um i've i've just been using the nyx cosmetics professional makeup just the micro brow pencil it's pretty decent um you know, I've used Anastasia, I've used a different, I need a different mirror for this because I'm going crazy if I do not do this um, correctly. Um, so I was, I did, I've tried Anastasia, I've tried other like NYX ones, I've done, um, I think I did, had like a Maybelline one at one point, like drugstore. Um, they're all pretty good. The one thing that I've found, um, oh no, I'm running low. Hopefully I'll just stop living. Um, eep, beep, beep. The one thing I found is that some of these pencil brushes, the spoolie just like breaks off, which is really frustrating. Um, cause I like having like an all in one tool, like, yeah, total first world problem. I could just use spoolie brush, but I'm lazy. And so I like to have this all-in-one brush that I can just, you know, quickly slap on a brow. 
can get back to my life. Um, so we'll do that. And now I like to do a little blush, little blusher. Um, this is potentially like I need to get a new one because it was really falling apart. But this is a L'Oreal Infallible uh, Stick Sculptant. But it's blush. It's basically a cream blush. Um, so I just slap it on. Um, just helps me look like a human. And then, um, I think the only mask, my other, so I use mascara, I use L'Oreal. Um, so I used the Voluminous Black Carbon, I mean, Black is Black for like the longest time, which is this. Um, and I love it and I, but I love it more for like going out, um, for like days in. Ooh, it's hard to see in this camera. Um, for days in, I feel like it's a little bit overboard because it gets like, um, I touch my face a lot and it gets all like all over my face. Um, so L'Oreal has their other one there. What is it? It's the pink tube. I'm blanking on the name of it right now. Um, and it's very, very, like, it's very similar to this, but I find that it doesn't smudge quite as drastically, which I like, but I do love the volume that I get with this one. So it's a little bit of a catch 22. And would you look at that? A few minutes and now I'm a human. There is what it is. Um, yeah, maybe I'll put some cream in that or something, but I'm not really gonna do much. Throw on some Burt's Bees chapstick, put on some deodorant, my native deodorant, which I love. It's like the first natural one that I found that I really, really like. Um, I like the smell of it. Some of the other ones, I like don't like the way that they smell. Um, let me do my eyebrows on me specifically so like the lavender one like i love a lavender um but i find it makes me like a little smelly i don't know i like this one a lot this is the cucumber mint so it's really refreshing and i really like it a lot it's paraben free aluminum free um which i really like anyway i'm gonna go work on the podcast first i gotta get out of my jammies What are you doing? Why is your foot in your mouth? What a weird position <laughs> you're in. Doing. <laughs> you're like almost human sitting. You and me are in like the same position. Except her foot is in her mouth. <laughs> Afternoon, everybody. It is after noon, twelve thirty afternoon. Um, <laughs> I, I'm. My goal is for next week's vlog um, to look a lot better than I look in this week's vlog. Uh, but this has just been a week. I've kind of just been having a week. Um, I just now was like, okay, I'm gonna lay on the couch, sit in my feels, watch some TikTok. And then I was like, you know what? Maybe I should just do one thing, like just one thing, uh, which was, I think just like put the ironing board away that was in the living room for when we were making face masks. And then that turned into put that away, then clean the living room, then sweep the living room, then 
turn on the laundry, then strip the bed, and now I'm about to start painting. So I guess it was, you know, productive to do the next, the next right thing, as Anna would say. Um, so I'm gonna start painting that in just a minute. It's really sunny today. These glasses are also so scratched up and I can't see. Now my alarm cut me off. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna start painting. Um, it's Friday and I don't know if I said that, but this is my same paint clothes from yesterday because why would I put on new clothes? Um, but yeah, just been like, just going through it, you guys. Like just, I'm sure everyone else is feeling the same way. I applied for the PPP program today because it opened up for independent contractors because um, I can't really work right now uh, on the real estate agent side. So I kind of like put it out into the universe. Well, not put it out into the universe. I'd love to get it. I put that out into the universe, but I've also accepted like I, I, and maybe this is the wrong way to think about it, but like I don't anticipate getting approved for PPP or the small business loan for our LLC um, or for, uh, what's the other thing that I applied for? Oh, I also did like a mortgage thing um, and a refinance. So I've done like a ton of stuff. I know like, and like, I feel like I've been so unproductive, but like, that's a lot of things when I say them out loud, but I've kind of like resigned myself to like, I'm not going to get any. And if I get them amazing, um, Piper's being a silly here on the couch. Why are you so silly all the time? Um, but I should probably be saying like, yes, like abundance. I'm going to get all of that stuff. Um, it's just, it's just hard to stay in that positive mindset, like every day of this quarantine. Um, I'm sure other people feel the same way. Like right towards the beginning of the week, I do really well. Like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, like I get dressed, I put on makeup, I'm looking like a person, I'm feeling it, I'm like doing trainings, I'm putting stuff out into the world, I'm creating content, and then by the end of the week, I devolve <laughs> to chaos. Um, like today, like so yesterday I at least like changed, but today I like didn't leave my pajamas until about like five minutes ago when I changed these paint clothes. Um, but I think that's okay. This is not normal. It's not normal to not be able to leave your house. Um, and I miss a lot of stuff. And I feel really bad last night. Jeff said to me that he's coming to terms with the fact that, well, even when life returns to normal for like the rest of the world, it won't for him either. Um, which I hadn't really thought about. Uh, because like, yeah, I had realized that, sort of, but I don't think I had like fully realized that because I can't rejoin the world, it also means he can't. So I definitely felt bad about that and that's hard. Um, I don't know I have to think about like stuff that we can do this weekend that can be like really fun and different um for us to feel like we're still like you know living normal lives I think I'm gonna go and look and see if I have any paint materials left paint is probably expired it's like a bunch of like acrylic paint from college or maybe after I because I was doing some painting after but it's been a long time since college so but I think that would be a really fun activity if I could find some paint stuff. I might not have any canvases, but maybe I can scrounge something up. So I don't know, I need to think of some ideas. Um, what are you guys doing to like keep the normalcy? I know there's some like games and stuff, but I don't know about you, but like the longer I'm in isolation, like the longer I kind of like, not that I don't want to see people, <laughs> cause I do, I'm like desperate to be with people. But I think I'm also in such a way that like I feel like it's not fair for me to be around other people because I'm so like bleh, with the world right now. So yeah, I haven't done any of those like game nights recently. But I probably should and like do one with my parents. Maybe we'll do we should do something for Easter. I don't know. Our toilet our toilet, no. Our 
shower also isn't draining, which I mentioned before. Oh, oh, this is just my life. This is just what my life is like. Oh, hello. Hi, she's just standing on my knees. Thank you. Wow. I didn't know I was so loved. Oh my goodness. Oh my. You're gonna fall. You're gonna fall, little one. So anyway, I should go paint before I devolve again. Don't look at my glasses, then I won't be able to see anything. Alright, I'm gonna go paint before I don't paint. And then I devolve again.